reference back to Google Drive and into our Google Slideshow one more time. Oh, that's probably going to be more times than this. All right. So I'm going back to my slideshow, make another copy so that I don't mess up the one I had before. Although I could always use that undo button. That thing is pretty handy. All right, going to change the name once again so that this is practice four. That way I keep track of everything. All right, so I've got my cute kittens in there. I'm going to insert a new slide. I'm going to go into my blank ones because that's my the one I like the best. Now, background. Just like we can change the background in Google Drawings, we can change the background here. You could do a two-finger tap and change the background just like you did in Google, um, Google Drawings. But on Google Slideshow, it actually has a button for background. You can change the color to a solid color. You can change it to a gradient. You can do the gradient. Um, sorry, I got it. I can't see my, there we go. Custom, just like we did with the um, all the colors. You can change it to whatever colors you want to. Or you can do an image. I prefer not doing an image just because depending on the image that you choose, you it might not look right. So these are, you can upload from your computer, you can take a picture from your camera, if you have a specific website, a photo in um, Google Photos from your Google Drive or Google Image Search. Again, this will be an image that you are allowed to use. Now, watch what happens when I choose a picture that is different shape than what my page is, when it inserts, well, eventually, oh, sometimes that happens. All right, let's try again. Background, choose an image. Let's try that one. Done. Notice that it stretches the picture to fit. It doesn't cut off part of it. It stretches the image to fit, so it looks funny. I prefer to just put in a picture, insert a picture like I did here, rather than doing a picture as the background, um, just because I personally don't like the way it looks. That's totally up to you. You can do an image. If you find an image that's the right size and shape, it should be fine. Now, when you're doing an image or any other background, when you put it in, you can click done from here, and it's just on that page. If you click add to theme, notice that it goes to all of my pages. All of my pages now have the same background, which is super cute, but you may not want all of your pages to have the same background, especially if it's an image. You may want to um, just have it on the one page. So I can undo that. And now it's just on this page instead of on all of the pages. 